to my channel. Um, I'm really excited today because I am doing my very first tutorial. Um, so that has just got me pumped. Um, I somehow mustered up the courage to get it done, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. We're going to be doing a review on the Too Faced Pretty Little Planner. Um, this is available at Ulta. Um, this is actually, a, I believe it is an exclusive for Ulta. Um, it is $42, but you can also get it on the Too Faced website, of course. Um, I love this packaging once again. Uh, they do have two planners that they came out with. Uh, there is the bigger one that is sold at Sephora. I have a review for that as well. Um, and there is this one. But the packaging, I mean, come on. It looks like a Christmas present. It is super, super cute. I'm trying not to blind you because I know it's all shiny. <laughs> but um, so they automatically get an A plus on this packaging. Um, of course, it comes with a zipper leather case. Um, it is more like a sky kind of like light baby blue, if that makes any sense. Um, and it does say wake up, make up and repeat and it has Too Faced on the bottom. And I really do like the way that this feels. It is a good sturdy case. It does come with a tassel on the bottom, which I have not unwrapped that yet. Um, and it does say the best year ever, 2018. <clears throat> so when you open it up, I actually already took the stuff out, um, but you do get a little heart mirror. You have a pocket right here. Um, you have a pocket here, and then you have a pocket here. And I'm pretty sure that is to hold your planner in because it does come with a planner. Let's see if I can put this back in. Um, so you would have it pretty much just like that. Open it up and there's your stuff. Um, so with the planner, this planner is more of a paperback. Um, the other one is a hardcover. Um, it, once again, it says wake up, make up, and repeat. Um, and I really do enjoy this. It does give you the a full calendar. <sighs> There we go. <laughs> it does give you the full calendar and then it goes into month by month. And um, I am really looking forward to be able to use this. It does come with stickers. Some people like it, some people don't. I think the stickers are super cute. I have no problem with those. Um, and then it gives you a couple looks on the back of this. All right, so it gives you a summer, fall, and winter and spring look. Um, so that is the planner and the stickers and then let's go ahead and get into the main event and that is the eyeshadow palette. Um, it says the best year ever, Too Faced. I really do like the color initially on the front. Um, I don't know if you can tell but mine is kind of scratched up a little bit. No? Maybe? I don't know. Um, anyways. So you do not get a mirror in this palette, which actually, with this being such a small palette, I would have liked to have a mirror right here. Um, I think that would be really good just to be able to look at your shadows and then come over here and do your makeup and not have to worry about another mirror. Um, it is lightweight enough for that, but it is what it is. I still think the packaging is really nice. Um, these are your colors right here. I'm gonna turn this sideways. Um, I really like the color selection they come in with this palette. All right, so we are going to do swatches. I'm just basically just going to take it by rows like I always do, um, and then we will get into my thoughts. <music> So the swatches are beautiful. I really do like the color selection in this. Um, a lot of people say Too Faced 
Christmas palettes are so basic. Um, but I think this is a really good selection. You do have mattes, you do have your shimmers. You can complete uh, a full eye look with this. Um, so you do get 15 eyeshadows. Um, this palette is good for 12 months. Um, one thing I did forget to mention, you do get a sampler size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love that mascara. It is actually one of my top mascaras that I do use. I'm always happy to get a, another one. Um, so I am in love with this palette. Um, I think they did very well. The shadows blend very nicely. Um, the color payoff, the pigmentation is so nice. The color selection is gorgeous. Um, I think this is a really great gift. If you want to give this um, as a Christmas present, this is definitely a really good choice. Um, or if you want to pick it up for yourself, that's a good choice as well. Um, I actually do have this on my eyes today. Um, I really do enjoy how this look turned out. Um, this is a beautiful fall look and it was really easy to create. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. So if you wanna know how I came about this eye look, please keep on watching. All right, so this is me, no makeup, no nothing. Um, I'm really, really nervous to do this tutorial because I have never done a makeup tutorial before. It's something I've been kind of wanting to do, but being new to makeup, you know, who am I to tell anybody how to do their makeup? But we're going to give it a shot. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. I have not done anything to my face, so I'm actually going to start with an eye primer and I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. each eye don't want to ever put too much because that can create problems I do know that <laughs> So to set my primer potion, I want to go in with, let's see, let's go in with Good Girl because that seems to be a little bit closer to my skin tone than why not. So we are just going to set that all over the eye. at their palette there's actually there's a couple different ways we can go we can start with a pink a brown and kind of like a purple for a transition color I've been really into purples lately but I think being fall I think we're going to go into coffee first so that's going to be this middle shade right here This would actually be really nice if this had a mirror, but you know, <sighs> have to put that down and then pick up my mirror. This is basically going to be my transition color. Just going to sweep that side to side. Now I do have hooded lids, so I do have to go higher than most. Same thing 
to the other eye. You can do windshield wiper side to side. And we'll start doing circle motions. I just really want to get it kind of darker in my outer area and working it just a little bit lighter to the inner portion. I'm just using actually a, a Tarte brush that I got from their Christmas holiday collection uh, for this part. this color it's a good color okay so now that we have that done I'm going to go in with my morphe 321 brush I really like this brush for my outer crease corner um, it kind of helps me control uh, the product especially being new to makeup and we are going to go in with the color snooze you lose <laughs> we're, we're gonna pack that into the outer V and work our way into the crease the techniques um, that I have picked up on rather than just digging in to the outer corner is to actually just start um, kind of like patting it that helps me control the product a little bit better on my outer V my tart brush and blend that a little bit better now I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye I tend not to be afraid if I bring it down too low because my uh, lid color is just going to cover that anyway. Okay. Once again, I'm going to go back in with the other tart brush, or with the tart brush, and blend. Sticking with the browns. Now I do wish that color was more, mm, kind of like a deeper brown because it almost looks black on the lid um, but it's still going to be fine all right so we're gonna do from about probably the inner lid we're gonna go in with a workshop Let's see how this works uh, oh that is a dry brush by the way dry brush yeah I'm 
pat this all over the center of my lid, kind of blending it with that outer corner. I like that. That is a really, really pretty color. It's kind of like a copper gold co copper color. I'm going back in on the other eye, keeping it in the center of my lid. Just using small patting motions. That's my dryer. And it's gonna do that quite some time because my husband likes the buzzer. <laughs> I don't, but he does, and it drives me nuts. All right, so we're gonna continue patting, 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 patting. Once again, blending it in with our outer corner. All right, so here's what we got so far. All right, I'm gonna go back in with the Tarte brush and kind of blend that out. Not putting any extra product on my brush. All right, so we have the outer corner, the center of the lid, and we're going to go in with Good As Gold on the inner corner. into the center color that we have. All right, so this is what we have so far. I'm actually really digging this. I think I might go in back in with the, um, what is it, workshop, and just kind of make that color just a little bit darker. Seems to have gotten lost. <laughs> we go yes I'm really liking this all right so after I get um, my eyes mostly done I actually move on to the face so we are going to start with the primer I'm using the elf hydration face primer hydration face primer um, I do have typically drier skin so I really like to make sure that I am nice and hydrated and we are just going to dab this bad boy just here 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 in there because this stuff is really thick and it spreads really easily so you don't want to put a whole bunch on your face otherwise you will end up having to go back and wipe some it off all right so we are primed and ready to go and then I'm going to use the Maybelline um, fit me foundation in the um, matte and poreless I am in the shade 118 and I really enjoy this foundation um, I'm also going to be using my Beauty Blender from e.l.f. I know a lot of people use Real Techniques, and I do have a Real Technique sponge, but I actually prefer this one a lot better to that. Um, I just feel like it, it just does a better job. <laughs> so. Okay, so now that thought is all blended, we're going to go in with our Tarte Shape Tape. So I actually only just dab it twice, and actually that's a little bit too much. So I only work with one side at a time due to the fact that uh, this does dry fast on my skin. And then we're going to do my um, eyeliner. Uh, this is a new discovery for me. It is not new to the market whatsoever. Um, but I am really enjoying this uh, Too Faced uh, sketch marker. And this is in the color Deep Espresso, keeping with our fall 
gold brown theme so I am going to use deep espresso which is a brown um, I really do enjoy these they are very easy to work with um, and I really enjoy the tip I really enjoy the tip to these it just kind of helps me keep it nice and precise on my eyes <laughs> accomplished it this time yay <laughs> it is a big accomplishment for me to actually get through it without having my eye twitching and it just kind of getting up all over the place so I'm really excited about that all right so now that we have the eyeliner on I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera um, and I will be right back all right, so my eyebrows are done and we are ready to get back into this. I'm actually going to go back in and do my um, brow bone highlight. Let's see, I think we're going to use the color. I really don't want to do a shimmer. Um, so I think I'm going to go into, that was my dog, <laughs> uh, into why not. And I'm just going to kind of dab this. Um, this is a flower brush that I am using. And I really like this brush for a uh, brown bow and highlight. It's just really easy co to control and it's small enough to just kind of stay in that area. Yeah, that's a nice bright bow, brow bow and highlight. I like that. All right, sure. Ta -da! We are almost done. All right, so we are going to go into mascara, and I really don't want to do anything um, too crazy. Usually I go in with my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Um, it just gives me really thick, full, long lashes, and I love that. But I'm feeling a little bit more on the lighter side tonight. So I'm actually going to go in with my uh, Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Mascara. Uh, this is a really good drugstore mascara. Um, it is one that I rely on wholeheartedly. I love the way that it separates my lashes. <laughs> my moda brush it is just a simple angle brush and I'm going to do my lower lash line um, and I'm just going to start with coffee first <laughs> coffee first yeah coffee first first <laughs> line is a finish that I'm really liking the way that looks I'm gonna go back in with my mascara and finish out my lower lashes all right next I'm gonna go into a Too Faced blush that I love this is um, baby love it is one of their love blush blushes <laughs> say that five times fast but I highly recommend these blushes. I think they are absolutely fantastic. The colors are beautiful and they really apply they apply really really nicely. Alright, so for highlight, I am going to use my Morphe Y14. Um, I do like this brush. I would not say that it's my absolute favorite highlighting brush, but it will work because um, my favorite is actually the Anastasia brush, but it's dirty, so we're going to do the Y14. Um, and I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty highlighter. Um, we're going to start with Mean Money and do Hustla Baby. <laughs> So we're going to wrap this up with a nude lip. Um, I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors in the color uh, Truffle. Alright, so this is the finished look. 
Um, I am really digging this. This is just a beautiful fall look. Um, just, I love it. I love the way that this turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. Yeah. All right. So, um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you did like this video, please give it a, a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, and I will have that link down below as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.